Okay, it's City Farmer News on a sunny day in the greenhouse, and I'm with Karen Yeager. And Karen, tell me what you're doing now. You brought students. Well, yes, I'm teaching uh, graphic design at Capilano University. Um, I've brought the second year group here, and they're working on a project called Creating um, for a Cause. And this year we chose the City Farmer as our cause. And of course, you know, and the students now know how I'm excited I am. I've never met you, but almost 30 years ago, Karen created this wonderful poster that City Farmer has used. Now that, was, I think it says 83 on the corner, but it looked a bit like 85, but 1983. You created a poster for Environment Canada, and it's all rooftop gardens, and it's around the world in people's offices. Tell me about the creation of that. Well, um, when we uh, came up with the, uh, the idea for, for this piece with Environment Canada, we were very inspired by, by the city farmer and um, the whole uh, concept of urban gardening. It, uh, I think it's essential to, uh, to have that balance but in how the city. did you get the rooftop thing? That was so cool. It's so in now. Yeah, it is. And actually, um, rooftop gardening or rooftop uh, living environments are uh, almost becoming um, a norm. They I mean, are. look at the new convention center in Vancouver. And you were ahead. And is that a Swiss <laughs> chard you put in the front? Do you know what that was when you made it? it was oh, just a... those are beets, yes. Oh, you got beets. Yes, Good. yes. And the cool thing that I discovered a few years later, which just about knocked me over, is you also had a contract with the World Food Program, the largest group distributing food in the world, that's your logo. Yes. How did that come about? Well, um, that was um, uh, through the uh, work that I did at Environment Canada. Um, one of the, uh, um, I guess, uh, the communications officer became the communications person at the World Food Program and um, really felt that I was able to, uh, to help them with their um, organization and designing a, and, a logo. And briefly, what that's just a wonderful logo. How did you come up with that? Well, it's uh, it's about um, I guess the different main um, types of food grown in all parts of developing countries. There's maize, uh, rice, and uh, wheat, and that's representative of uh, how the World Food Program can support um, a lot of these developing countries. So. And that is on every bag of food relief that goes to every refugee camp. I've seen pictures of it. Yes, it yes. is out there. And <laughs> when I saw that and thought. Hey, you'd help this little nonprofit with urban agriculture before urban agriculture was even in anybody's mind. I just thought it was so perfect. And then today, to have 30 of your students, the next generation, 30 years later, come back and create a logo for us and help us graphically. Well, they're very inspired by this project, and I hope you'll come and join us to take a look at their results in a few weeks. Definitely. They're very, very inspired. Thank you very much. You're welcome.